Okay, guys. Um, <clears throat> so I am here live doing our weekly WOW sell today info live. I was going to go live yesterday, but I did not. I spent some time with my husband and my kids trying to get everything ready for their homebound stuff, which starts tomorrow. My husband's been crazy busy with his work stuff, so and he's on call this weekend. So it was kind of a crazy weekend. I look absolutely atrocious right now. Sorry. Um, I've got my hair in a treatment and I was like, well, I really don't feel like putting on makeup, so <clears throat> we're not. But as y'all know, we do weekly wow sales every week. Now this one's actually started earlier than normal, so it's already going. Um, we are gonna be doing, hi April. We're going to be doing 50% off all the way SVGs on our website. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyways, we're going to be doing 50% off. Hi, Cassandra. Hi, Beverly. Hi, Cindy. All the SVGs on our website. It's a great way to help support if you can. Plus, during all this time, you know, everybody's bored. Everybody's at home. It is a... Hi, Lori. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Edith. But it's a, something new to kind of help you keep you busy because we all need something to keep us busy right now. Hi, Sharon. Um, I am working on a tutorial, so it might be up tomorrow, hopefully, on uh, if it works out the way that it's supposed to, on no sew face mask. Um, not because, hi, Nancy. I've had a lot of people request a face mask tutorial. Well, y'all know, I don't sew, and I was like, well, there's other people who are like me who don't sew. Hi, Jacqueline. So I figured we'd attempt to see if we could make a no sew face mask. And it may not protect you against everything, but it will also help you to not touch your face because that is a hard thing to remember. Um, we had to go to Walmart on a Saturday. Y'all know I went grocery shopping on Friday. And just trying to remember not to touch face, not to touch anything. You know, it was super difficult. Oh my goodness. But we're getting through it. Everything's good. Um, I think that's all part of it is, you know, we all got to work together, got to find things to keep ourselves occupied. Um, I have been playing with, I Latrina, um, makeup a whole lot more. Yeah, see, Cassie, working on designs. You got to think of things to keep you busy. And what I was explaining, too, is like all the SVGs are on sale. But if you're at home and you don't have a lot of expenses or you're wanting to get more into making SVGs, I am doing a lot more tutorials on that. And the program that I recommend using with it is Corel Draw. Now, I tell you all about this. I don't make any money by promoting it. Let me tell you, I, if I put a link in my description box, it is just a straight link to Amazon. I'm not using anything where I can make money. I just like Krill Draw. It's my favorite thing to use. And it's the least expensive out of the better art programs. Because, you know, Inkscape's free or whatever, but I just don't think... You know, whenever you can get Corel Draw for anywhere between $69 to $99... I would recommend spending a little bit of money and getting Corel Draw. Uh, but other than that, we've been working on our puzzle. Oh, I'm glad you love it, Beverly. Isn't it so much better? That's what I try to explain to people. People think I'm crazy, but whenever you actually start using an art program and then realize that it doesn't matter what machine it is that you're using, you can use it with anything. And it's a great way to make money as well you know if you've got some gumption i'm yeah see cassie i have several of y'all who are getting into it and i think it's so worth it and if you want to make designs to sell like on etsy or whatever you want something that you can design for everything you know what i mean silhouette all those kind of things hi ada are not always the best things to use for that an outside art program is better. Sorry, I am like breathless today. Yeah, you can get it off of Amazon. Um, if you look back in 
The last two videos that I did with Corel Draw, I have a link to it because it's only like 69 bucks right now on Amazon. And you can either buy the physical copy where they'll mail it to you and you can just install it, or you can buy the digital copy that you did download and install from their website and then you just put in your product key. So either way, you see what I'm saying? It's really good. Um, and a lot of people will tell you that it's really good. My sinus and allergy situation has not been good. Um, because the weather around here has been kind of crazy. But, I mean, other than that, we're just doing all we can to stay busy, keeping inside the house, just like everybody else. Um, trying to avoid going out in public as much as possible. Um, well, see, Sharon, it really doesn't matter. It's the same program either way. And a lot of computers, like my Alienware that I use for my work, I don't have a... Um, which a doodle a uh, CD-ROM on my computer because it's an Alienware laptop. So even though I have a hard copy of it, we had to do the download version of it anyway and just use the code that came in the box. Makes sense? Um, because I don't have a CD-ROM drive. And if you're using like um, a lot of newer PCs, they don't have a CD-ROM drive. So if you have one, it's up to you on what you want to use. But if you don't, the digital is fine and then you get it that day. You can use it immediately. And it really is an easy program to use. Anyways, so my hair looks like crud. Uh, as I said, I have a mask treatment in it because I'm trying to help. My curls are going crazy. But other than that, how are y'all? How's everybody else doing? I, Apple, I'm not sure. I have a PC, so you would have to look and see if it's made for Apple. Um, that one I am not 100% on, so I don't want to give you false information. Um, some programs do not work on Apple, as you know. Um, but, so that one, as I said, I don't know for sure. PCs works all day, every day. Um, so how everybody else is doing? Are y'all doing good? Y'all holding up through all this? Air conditioner's loud. I'm sorry. I should quit apologizing. Oh, my goodness. So, my diet has kind of went out the window. Hi, Heather. I see you all the time. Or at least on here I do. Um, but, just trying to stay focused, get things done. I'm glad you're getting very creative, Edith. But yeah, so the SVG cell is a great way to support us because it's all digital downloads, so you don't have to be shipped it. You get your stuff immediately, 50% um, off. It helps us. I am getting cabin fever too. What I had to go to Walmart for was, as I said, I'm gonna try to make some no-sew masks. So I had to go get some elastic. The dogs needed dog treats because I forgot them. Hi, Nancy. Um, there was some other stuff we needed. I can't even think of what all we needed. But um, there was stuff that we needed that we couldn't get. Um, paper towels. I'm like down to two rolls. I've told the kids, I'm like, hey, if you need to wipe anything down or anything like that, use a wash or like a dishcloth instead of using the paper towels since we're running low. Um, no, it's not late yet. It's only, I think it's like seven something here. Um, I didn't realize how late it got. Um, but yeah, the SVGs are, no, I did not make my mouse ears. Um, there are a couple of pair up there that my daughter made me, but all the other ones actually came from Disneyland or Disney World. Putting several new videos. Um, it's just going to just depend on how long it takes. Um, I've had a lot of requests lately. Yes, I'm in Texas. Um, Southeast Texas in Nederland, actually. Um, which is about an hour and a half outside of Houston. But I've had a lot of requests for design stuff. Yeah, well, I don't have enough to toilet paper to trade for paper towels. I'm just trying to go to the store when they're in stock. 
um, I have no issue doing that or sending my husband or something like that to be able to get them. Um, we're not hoarders on any of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not a hoarder when it comes, I mean, I got a family of five. It's, things go through my house so fast anyway it's fun it's not button it's not funny not the least little bit the amount of food my children eat is crazy three teenagers and then when Nadia's boyfriend comes over that makes up four teenagers oh that's good Cassie or Cassandra I always want to people call a name Cassandra Cassie because I have a friend who's a Cassandra that we call Cassie um but yeah no and part of the thing is what we've really been working on a lot is design work because that is one of those things that i get requested all the time and it doesn't matter what machine you're using if you know how to design and know how things cut like i can design in corel draw and you can use it in brother scan and cut or silhouette studio or whatever or if you decide that you have a really artistic mind and you want to sell things you can um so it's really kind of nice you know what i'm saying outside austin it's kind of bad up there isn't it well see and i don't buy bottled water at our house um i have a really good filter system in my refrigerator and like i'm fine with drinking it like that I actually have several Charlene. You need to go look because there's a lot because there's some that's a little bit more basic and some that's a little bit more advanced. Um, and we're going to play with it some more because part of designing and I get asked, well, how do I do this? How do I do that? Well, part of the thing with designing is once you start to know the basics and you start to understand how things get put together, then it kind of helps with your creativity and you're like well maybe if i do something like this verse you see what i'm saying it makes it where you start to understand how things work on vinyl or screen print and then you're like well if i do it this way we can do this we can do this you see and it helps put it together because i can teach you the basics of design all you want but if you don't have an artistic eye you're not going to be able to come up with your own designs that makes sense. Oh, uh, retract the video. I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, going crazy. Other than that, hopefully, ah. But I mean, and, I, and that's the nicest way I can say it because I mean, I get a lot of questions over can I do this? Can I do that? Well, I can't it and make your own if that makes sense um but yeah i'm going stir crazy yes there's always the undo button i i don't eat it i don't like ink, inkscape at all um and part of the thing is with it is and the reason why i say this is because inkscape is a free pro program it is an open source program so people can go in and change the source code which the source code is what actually tells the program and tells different parts of the program how to work so with that being said it gets buggy and a lot of things can change very fast now typically when you're buying either like Corel draw or adobe illustrator or other vector programs along those lines you're not going to have those same kind of bugs. Uh, you don't get updated 50,000 times throughout the year. Oh, I'm, you're welcome, Amanda. Trust me, sometimes messages get retracted. It is. Um, I've done some shadows on font videos. Uh, I think I've done it for how to create a drop shadow. I think I've done it for Corel, um, Cricut, Inkscape. I've done it for several programs. Um, I can always redo it because that's one of the other things that I'm working on doing is redoing some videos because I've been on YouTube for about three years, but we have about 600 videos up here. Now, some of them are live. Um, Condi's where I get that or Amazon. Um, 
Amazon's a good place. Condi, I love the quality of Condi stuff, uh, but Amazon's gonna always be your cheapest, but Condi has great quality items. And it's, that sublimation stuff is still so much cheaper than when I first started doing it many years ago. Um, but yeah, a lot of it is just, it's trial and error and playing with things. Um, you're welcome, April. Um, learning what you do. And I've had some people, like when I asked what kind of videos y'all wanted to see, um, yes, Connie has great mugs, Kathy. Um, that my videos got depressing for a while, which I'm completely sorry about, but there really wasn't much I could do. Uh, I try to keep y'all informed of everything that has happened, and y'all know for us the past two years have kind of been gritty. Hi, my tree lane. Um, and I'm not going to make excuses. Hi, Sherry. Um, not going to make excuses. This for my health was crap. Um, doing better now. These past couple of weeks, it's been kind of cruddy again, but you know, stress never does anything nice for autoimmune. Uh, but other than that, we're doing good. Just ready for people to stay in their houses so that way we can leave ours again. But other than that, I don't know. I'm tired. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm exhausted. I've been having, <laughs> I'm glad Elizabeth, because it's been kind of crazy. Um, nightmares. Are, are any of y'all like that? When I'm stressed, I get weird dreams, like crazy weird dreams. Like I had to dream that Jeremy was hoarding food from us when Jeremy would never do that. Um, Plus, he doesn't go to the grocery store or anything without me. Like, most of the time, if I'm going to the grocery store, if he goes with me, that's great. But most of the time, it's typically like me and the boys. But, yeah. See, Elizabeth, you're the same. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I just kind of wanted to let y'all know about the sale. The Oracle Adhesive Sale. Hi, Deb. Uh, it's still going strong. It ends tonight at midnight uh, Central Standard Time. So it's typically $2.50 for a 12 by 24 inch piece of Oracle 651. It is down to $1.75. Yeah, a hard time sleeping is there. Yeah, see, I think everybody has it. Yeah, just stay at home. Watch my videos. Hi, Mary. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. We're we're bringing it back. Um, I mean, other than that, I, I I get on here and we do these lives, and I'm just trying to keep y'all informed what's going on because people are interested. But we're still doing our tutorials because I think it's fun. I have yeah, I have retainers. I have to wear at night. Uh, okay, so Elizabeth, are you looking in? Adhesive or HTV? Oh, I'm good. I mean, I, I get stressed and that's just what I do. Um, typically carry home and family is gonna be the cheaper. Okay, so adhesive, Oracle 651 has coral and it is beautiful. And that's the color, it's called coral. It is a great color. Um, it is like, that kind of shade. So, anyways, we did take apparel off of our, uh, just to let you know, we did take apparel off of our website and the kits off of our website that have apparel in it um, because it's getting harder to get a hold of. Um, some of our suppliers are closing down warehouses. So until that picks back up, it's not gonna be on the website. Uh, we are going to keep open until they tell us otherwise as far as in-store online will continue. Um, one of the things about um, it's permanent. 
Mary. Um, Oracle 651 is a permanent adhesive, which is where we live at in Southeast Texas. We, I don't use Oracle 631. Oracle 631 is a removable adhesive and in our heat and humidity, it doesn't last. It's like a waste of money in my opinion. Now in some areas, it works a little bit better. Um, Latrina, it kind of just depends on, do you have a wholesale license? Do you have an actual business? If not, your best place is a lot of times to get shirts or Hobby Lobby has the Gildan shirts are extremely cheap. Um, I know Michaels is carrying Bell and Canvas. They're a little bit more expensive. Target, their Goodfellow shirts are really good. Thank you, Kathleen. We do. I do. That I will be a little snobby about. We have some great vinyl. I'm very particular about our vinyl. I'm obsessive about vinyl. It's like, if y'all haven't noticed, or if you haven't watched a lot of my videos, I am obsessed with color. So when I wear makeup, I wear color all the time, but on makeup and stuff like that too. So if I wanted to, if I can have it in both vinyl and an eyeshadow, awesome. I know that sounds weird, but it's just, I like color in everything. But yeah, um, again, it kind of depends on if you have a business license and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so you need to get your business license and um, I definitely recommend Latrina whenever, oh yeah, specialty is the best vinyl out there, I think. I, I, you need to send me some pictures, Elizabeth. I'd love to see it. Well, I mean, my tree lane this is my job so i get to play with it a whole lot more than most people but my pocketbooks don't always agree i don't i mean i mean i wear actually i have quite varied taste in makeup like what i sprayed on my face a second ago was catrice the prime and fine dewy setting spray this stuff's like two bucks and then I'm also looking like right in front of me. I have a Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. This is the uh, number five or something. Number seven. One of the two. That's 125. So I have a little bit of everything. Um, certain things I will spend more money on. Um, foundations. Um, a lot of inexpensive foundations I have found don't work on my skin. Um, a lot of times colors don't match because of a very odd skin tone. Oh, I'm glad you're able to get that. I love the hibiscus anchor bun bundle. That is one of my first hand drawn images that I drew myself. Now y'all may not know this. I drew the hibiscus anchor. So that is one of the, the SVGs that's on sale. If there is a video on it, it is amazing. The vinyls are gorgeous. Check it out if you want to because it is it is a stunning vial. But one of the things that I have found, and I, that because I have a very unique color, skin coloring, I'm definitely not a yellow undertone. I am not a pink undertone. I have more of a neutral olive undertone. Um, a lot of drugstore foundations don't have a shade range that work for me. And a lot of times, some of the chemicals that are put in drugstore foundations, that if they do, they just don't agree with my skin because my skin is sensitive, at least for liquid products. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Sandra. It is one of my favorites. But like for foundation that I do like, that is an expensive, juvious place. I like their foundation, but it is a matte finish foundation, so it depends on your skin type. And then I also really like the Physician's Formula. That's a good idea, Heather, uh, to put it on a swimsuit cover-up. But, um, so typically, see, Kathy, I have that issue too, because if they're too warm tone, and sometimes a foundation just oxidizes like that. Like, um, where is it? Okay, so I have the Smashbox foundation. 
This is 302. It's a medium with a neutral olive skin tone. If you look at it in the tube, it just looks like a neutrally foundation. But whenever it oxidizes, it is pretty easy to get your business license, but you do have to talk to your local tax office. That's one thing. But you look at it on the back of my hand, when this dries down, it's going to look a completely different shade. I mean, as you can see, as it's already starting to dry down, it is getting darker. Um, but yeah, no, taxes are very important. You have to have a wholesale license. You have to have a business license. And it, once all this is over, if you're really wanting to get into business and find good vendors, a lot of times going to like the imprinted sportswear show, the ISS shows, they have them all over the United States. The MBMs, things like that are great to go to, to find vendors because what works for me and works for me in my area, because there are a lot of places that have warehouses out of Texas. And if you're not in Texas, they may not have warehouses. So it may take days to get to you, those types of things because speed and accuracy also matters just as much as price does. I mean, but some things like we order shirts directly from Bella and Canvas, um, but we order a quantity of shirts from Bella and Canvas. Um, see, look how much darker that's already gotten. And you can easily see this is the same uh, foundation right here that's still drying down. That's what I had over on my finger, so I wiped it off on there. Yes, Condi's amazing, but you see how much darker that's already gotten? And that's still not completely dry, and it's just going to get darker. Um, okay, so with fibromyalgia, I don't know. Uh, and it, it could be just my age because, you know, I'm 36 years old. So I have found that I am extremely temperature sensitive, um, but I get hot flashes a lot um but again that could be my age and i may be starting to go through menopause um because you know your body starts to change <laughs> the power press um yeah we still use it all the time um i mean and that's the thing about it is like whenever i talked about the power press that we use it all the time the tussie i still use it is still sitting right here in my office um those that's why i recommend them I wouldn't recommend them if we didn't use them all the time. Um, and if I had any issues or anything like that, I would definitely tell you about it because, oh yeah, and look, even you can still see how much darker that's still getting. And whenever I first applied it, it was the same color as my hand. Hi, ANC printing. Um, but yeah, no, what I was saying, uh, temperature stuff. Um, so... Sometimes I will be freezing cold and it's 72 degrees in the house. Other times I think I'm going to die of a heat stroke at 69 degrees in my house. Um, typically I'm most comfortable around 70, 71. And one of the things that you, sound you will always hear in my videos is either one highway noise. We live off of a highway. It's there. Can't do anything about it. And I'm not going to spend all the money to buy specialty microphones because most people could care less if you can hear a little bit of traffic. And my window unit, because even though my office is part of my house, it is not part of what is, um, it is an autoimmune thing and that can help with it too. Um, especially like when I'm stressed, it's crazy. And another thing that I have a really bad issue with too is when I get super stressed, I swell really bad. Um, like my face down the camera. I'm not sure what you mean. Um, but my face like right now is pretty swollen compared to normal and like my fingers and stuff. You know how when your hands swell, how they feel tight when I'm stressed, that is something that I deal with a lot. Um, but I also like, because of all the stuff that's going on, my pain levels have been up through the roof. But, you know, I'm dealing, I'm managing. I'm trying to do this without any...
Uh, okay, sorry. Had to hide someone on being gross. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yes, there are a lot of different ways to heat transfer. Okay, so, and I've done videos on a lot. Hi, Amy. We, there is heat transfer vinyl, which a lot of times are your solid colors, kind of like what is on my shirt. I did the video on this the other day. Um, there's also printable heat transfer material and there's different variances of quality for that. Um, there are some that are like more of just a regular transfer material. Um, thank you, Kathleen. Um, anyways, they can be good. A lot of times they're not, you gotta be careful what you get. Um, thank you, Sharon. Um, then we also like, we have at our shop, we have an HP latex printer and, and a Roland, uh, eco solvent printer. So that prints vinyl. We also have a direct to garment printer, which is kind of like screen printing, or it's like an inkjet printer that kind of prints screen print ink and it puts it onto your shirt for you. Kind of cool. Um, we also do dye sublimation, another process, which is heat transferring stuff to a shirt. Uh, what else? Then there's screen printing, which we use a plastisol ink, which is all heat set. So there are a lot of different methods to apply graphics to a shirt. And we've done a lot of videos on a lot of different ways to apply graphics to shirts. Um, kind of just depends on what you're in, you want to learn. And as I said, we are working more right now on the, the design aspect of it and just trying to help people keep their sanity through all this because that's why I'm doing lives is I think that we should have someone where we can kind of sit back and chit chat because Oh yeah, they're so expensive. And I mean, they've got some good ones that are not as expensive, but like my brother direct to a garment, and this doesn't include the pre-treat or the heat press machine. When we bought it and it's been almost five years ago, it was 25,000. Um, so it's a lot of money. Well, and see, we, I try to always explain what I'm doing and not everything I do is things that you may want to do. It's just to kind of show you. I come at this from a business aspect. Well, you need to do your research on direct garment printers. Um, ANC, I heard good things about Anajets, but it's kind of like anything else. I'm not going to tell you what to purchase as far as that goes because that is a huge investment. Before you try to purchase anything like that, go to some shows, see it in action, get samples to bring home so you can wash and see how they last. Always important. Oh, oh yeah, we also have our laser printer that prints for, it prints laser <laughs> uh, stuff. I mean, that's part of the thing is, I have so many different machines that can do so many different things, but a lot of times I'm not gonna sit there and do videos over all of it for y'all. Um, see, and that's good for you, AMC printing, but what I'm saying is some people may trust other brands. You know what I'm saying? Like, as I said, I have a brother, I love it, but I've also seen the HP ones. Those are really good and Part of it is looking at it, touching it, feeling it yourself, seeing how it washes, understanding what kind of maintenance that goes along. Um, well, A and C, but it's not just their machines. You want to know, compare and contrast. You want to understand, and I'm not, hopefully I don't sound like I'm condescending or contradicting because everybody's opinion is valid, valid and important. But when you're going in... 
Ah, yes. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I'm not recommending any brand. I mean, as I said, my brother was outrageous. And if I had to do it all over again, I'm not sure if I would buy another br brother. Um, but you need to understand what goes along with it because direct garments all seem oh see in ac and see i don't know how you know since i don't know your videos or i don't know if you do videos i don't always know what everybody's experience level is so you know i have a lot of beginners so i always try to go back and make sure that people understand that hey especially when you're talking about some of these machines that are an extremely big investment like i will recommend a 200 hundred dollar heat press I mean, it's gonna perform like a $200 heat press. They'll last you a while, but they're not gonna last forever, but they will do what they're supposed to. But whenever you're talking about machines that are expensive, 5,000, 10,000, sometimes $40,000. I mean, I think our, cause we have an MNR automatic press for our screen printing. I think that one, what we have was like 50 or $60,000. I mean, we've got enough equipment that it would buy me a nice, nice, nice house. Um, but understanding what you're getting into, what the maintenance is on it, um, what the care is on it, because a lot of times when you talk to manufacturers, oh, it's so easy to do this. And then you take it home and you're like, what did I get myself into? Um, been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. Um, there have been lots of pieces of equipment when I'm like, like when we bought the laser transfer printer because we wanted something that would do full color. Oh, so you do a lot. See, there are certain things that I won't touch. Like we don't do any lighted signs, any of that kind of stuff here. I don't want to mess with it. Um, but like when we bought our Okie Data laser printer, <laughs> and it seemed like such a great deal because I wanted something because we do a lot of football shirts on our direct garment, but people wanted polyester shirts. Well, the brother direct garment, you cannot print on a dark colored polyester shirt because you get your ink bleed and all that and it just looks terrible. So the Okie Data was a great way to do it. Well, whenever we purchased it, they talked about how cheap the transfers were and all this other kind of stuff. And come to find out, it was a lot more expensive and a lot more involved. Oh yeah, the ink is extremely expensive. Um, but the good thing about the laser is if it doesn't get used, it doesn't get hurt. And the laser was probably one of the cheaper investments we've made because that one was only, I think, 6,800. Um, but the laser transfers, because you have to use certain kind to make it where it goes on to a shirt, um, is a little tricky to get involved with. And they're extremely expensive, even before you even put toner down on them. And they're easy to mess up. Um, and I don't want it to seem like I'm discrediting anybody's opinion over anything. It's, um, um, well, yeah, like on our, my brother printer, um, it takes four white cartridges and for two white cartridges, it is $310 for two cartridges. And then if I'm buying a color cartridge, I have a Stahl's Hot Trinics Air Fusion, absolutely amazing press. I've had it for five years. Only thing we've had to change on it is the button. Um, because it had an overheating issue. But again, my press at the shop is turned on from the moment we open the doors and it doesn't go off till the time it closes. And it's been going pretty much every day of the week for five years. Before that, we have a, another Stahl's Hotronics. Um, I uh, forget which one it was. Um, it has lasted forever. Um, and a Graftech is an amazing plotter, but a Graftech plotter, they're a little bit on the expensive side. Um, so, 
Yeah, a graph tech is amazing. Graph tech, Puma, and Suma are all really good. Well, yeah, I mean, Kathy, but you got to realize ours is a bulk business. We sell, what I talk about what we do here, like um, we're talking about craft level stuff. It, I mean, it would seem like what we have is, as far as equipment is overkill. Exactly, AC. That's part of the reason why, like, one of the last shows we went to, what was it, a year ago, we bought a 72-inch uh, HP latex printer for banners and that kind of thing. Um, because even though we don't do lighted signs, we still do alu panel, coroplast, aluminum, all different kinds of signs. We do banners. We do screen printing. Um, now, there are certain stuff that I don't know a whole lot about. Like, the latex printer, Joe, typically is who prints on it. So, I know some about it, but I don't know everything. But one of the things, part of the reasons why we did go with getting a latex versus getting another eco solvent is because the heads on our Roland eco solvent, if you have a head strike, which with a head strike is if there's any problem with any, if the material in the machine gathers up or bunches up and the head hits it, it can ruin your head. So that's what's called a head strike. And the heads for it are like $1,200. Well, for the HP, they're I think $80 a piece. So a whole lot less expensive. Plus the <coughs> machine itself starting off was a whole lot cheaper. Like I think uh, for the HP with a cutter, it was 15,000 versus when we bought the Roland uh, printer cutter seven or eight years ago. Hi, Linda. It was 40,000. So they've come down a lot in price and the quality that that HP latex prints is absolutely amazing. It does a great job. But they like said we shouldn't have a whole lot of changes with the heads, but we've had to change several of the heads already. But at least they're inexpensive. It's like a throwaway part for it. So, I mean, and that's the one thing I can explain to people is even though, um, like as you grow, because as you grow, if you're doing this as a business, you're going to have to invest in better equipment because a cricket and a silhouette are all great, fine, and wonderful, but you're limited on what you can do. And bigger jobs, and I'm not saying bigger as in size or quantity, it's kind of a mixture of both, are the jobs that are going to bring in more money. Um, like, it may seem weird, but screen printing is such an inexpensive thing for the most part. Your profit level on screen print is a whole lot more. Well, and see, we don't really turn down a whole lot of stuff. Um, one of the things... Yeah, time is money. And working on all this, like, I have to keep my employees busy. Um, if they're not making stuff, then I'm not making money. You know what I mean? They have to be doing stuff. And we do lots of small jobs. Don't get me wrong. Um, we do lots of one-off custom shirts and custom decals and things like that. But let's face it. And ANC, I'm sure you can attest to this, that the jobs that are bigger in quantity or in size bring in more money um they have a higher profit margin um and people don't always realize that about this and salespeople in this industry um who sell the big equipment they all want to be your friend because they get a commission off of the work Oh, Jeb, our weekly wow sale is all of our SVGs are on sale and we started it early for half price because, well, everybody's stuck at home. Y'all need something to do. Um, it helps us out. 
It helps our small little business out and keeps us going. Plus, it doesn't matter where in the world you are, you can purchase them. You don't have to pay shipping costs. Um, the only time you have to pay taxes is if it is in Texas. So, other than that, it's a pretty good deal. And we have some really awesome SVGs. Y'all have seen them over the years. Um, and we're constantly adding new ones. But um, part of what I was saying is salespeople, they all are your best friend when they're trying to get you to buy equipment and how theirs is the best and all this is the best and their service and all this is going to be great. But it's not always. That's why it's very important to do your research on who you're purchasing that kind of stuff from. Um, what kind of warranty, what kind of help. Because sometimes what people don't really realize too with all this is, is sometimes when you buy a big piece of equipment, if you need to troubleshoot it, sometimes you gotta pay. And a lot of times if you have to pay just to talk to someone on the phone, it's a couple hundred dollars an hour. Not joking. I'm not gonna go into who that's with, but that's part of the reason why I tell you to do your research. You've been working on the same place for two years straight. <laughs> well, and see, A and C, part of the thing with a lot of times with restaurant menus, like um, some of them that we had to do, it's a constant redoing. Like they'll go up on price on one item and they're like, hey, can you do a sticker to fix this one? Which is great, fun, and wonderful if it is cut letters. Oh, flyers and business cards. See, we really don't mess with flyers. Um, we do do business cards. Um, cause paper printing don't really want to mess with. Um, but, um, we, there are several organizations and businesses that we do things like that for that we do pretty much everything for. Um, don't want to brag about it. Don't want to get, you know put it all, all my business out here on social media, but you know, we do okay. I mean, our sign business, and we've changed names since we opened up Cutting Corners, but the only reason we did that is because Cutting Corners was so well known and we joined both of our business together. Oh, I need to go check that out, ANC. Um, Take and if you can, when the video is over, link your Instagram where I can find you in the comments. Uh, not in this section of comments because if you do it here, I have to actually like try to go back and watch the video. But if you link it down in the actual comments once the video is done, like when we're not live filming, um, link it and I'll go take a look at it. I have lots of free time right now. Uh, but yeah, no. And those are the kinds of things I try to explain to people because, you know, I, I get people ask, well, where did you buy this? What did you do this? Why did you do that? Well, some things, that's what I'm trying to teach you. you I don't want you to all follow from my mistakes. And so I'm like, you need to research some of this yourself. Not because, because part of the thing is what I deem acceptable and what works for me may not be the same thing for your area and your shop. You see what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to equipment. Equipment is like a personal preference. It's kind of like, even if you're not doing this for business purposes, even if you're just doing this for fun, you got your brother people, you got your cricket people, you got your silhouette people. And a lot of times those people don't overlap. Yes, and asking questions, Cassandra. Always ask questions. Questions are important. There's no dumb question. I've always believed that. But yeah. So, anyways, well, I guess I'll let y'all go. Um, I've been on this for almost an hour. My husband's actually cooking dinner, which really isn't anything because we're having frozen pizza. But I need to clear up my fridge. One of the local... Uh, butcher shops down the road from us. I ordered meat from to help keep us tied over with <laughs> Yeah, and see heat presses and that's another thing. It depends on what you're going to be doing with it.
Well, and see, ANC, I'm not certified <laughs> in graphic design. I'm not an artist in the least little bit. I don't pretend to be. I mean, I have some artistic talent. <laughs> I'm a lot better at telling people what I want made. And that's why I have an artist on staff. Then I am um, sometimes about designing it, but I do know quite a bit about it because I've been doing it for a very long time. Even though I'm only 36, we purchased our screen printing business when Cameron was four. So that's nine years ago. So I was 25, 27 when we purchased the screen printing business. Um, but yeah, oh, I can understand that. But in our area, graphic designers only make so much. Um, and then whenever, before that, my mother and father-in-law owned the sign shop in, which was Go Sign and Graphics, um, for, what was it, five or six years before that. And uh, so I started doing this, working in this business, off and on, like coming in and helping them, like when I was selling cars and stuff like that when I was 21. And then... When I got pregnant with Cameron, I had lots of issues when I was pregnant with him and they needed help at the shop and I needed not to have to be on my feet and so stressed out. So I went and worked for them and continued to do it and slowly but surely grew it from there. I mean, even though I started off, you know, it, it, it's kind of grown and taken on a life of its own. Um, so, yeah. See, you've been doing this a long time, ANC. Since 2003, that's quite a long time. Um, I've been doing it quite a long time, too. Not as long as you, but... Again, my expertise is not the same as anybody else's. Um... I try to come at this from a different angle than a lot of other people and try to show you the good, the bad, and also try to teach you to ask questions and know what to look for. Um, learn how to troubleshoot things because those are all, um, no, cause I don't know how old you are, but I know how old I am and you've been doing it just a little bit longer than me. And a lot of people who get into the printing industry typically get into it young, so. You're probably, if I had to guess, maybe a few years older than me, which doesn't mean you're old by any means. Um, I think you're only as old as you feel, and I feel pretty darn old right now, but that's because I'm tired. But anyways, thank you, Kathleen. And I think my teaching skills come from teaching kindergarten Sunday school. If you can explain how to do things to a kindergartner, you can... Uh, explain how to do it to an adult so anyways yes okay i will see y'all tomorrow hopefully it will be our uh mask but no so hmm. but i guess that's it remember svgs are on sale right now check them out help us out hmm. but i guess that's it we'll see y'all tomorrow bye